Hey guys, it's Samantha and thank you for joining us here on the My Tan Feet YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you the town and the beach of Hako. Right now, we are entering Hako from the north end of the beach, going past the Costa Linda condos. Hako is the biggest and most developed beach town in Costa Rica, having gained popularity for its excellent consistent surfing waves and for its close proximity to San Jose, the capital city of Costa Rica. At this point, we have turned onto the main road that goes through Hako town that runs parallel to the beach called Pastor Diaz Avenue. The beach town is like a city beach town with all of the services and amenities like restaurants, banks, pharmacies, clinics, supermarkets, car rentals, info centers, tour desks, bus stations, and much more. As Hako is only 98 kilometers or 61 miles from San Jose, many locals come to this beach on the weekends and holidays, as it's only about a one and a half hour drive on Highway Route 27 and 34. Likewise, many tourists choose to visit Hako because it's so close to the city and the main international airport. There are a lot of hostels, hotels, and vacation rentals at all different price points to choose from, and many beachfront lodging options. The food scene in Hako is one of the best in Costa Rica, with tons of international and local options at reasonable prices. So Hako is an excellent destination in Costa Rica to stay for a few days or to use as a home base for your entire trip. As Hako is located in the Punta Arenas province on the central Pacific coast, it has a year-round tropical rainforest climate. The surrounding mountains are always green thanks to the rainforest humidity and nearby Tarkalis River. So Hako is home to a lot of wildlife, such as scarlet macaws, toucans, and monkeys. Hako has a ton of fun things to do for all travelers, such as hiking, bird watching, waterfalls, ATV tours, zip lining, surfing, stand up paddle boarding, and river boat rides. It also has a lively nightlife, so you can be adventuring in the jungle during the day and then dancing the night away with new friends at night. However, Hako is known for its great surfing waves, so if you visit, we highly recommend to take a lesson. The beach has several breaks, so whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or weekend warrior surfer, there will be waves for everyone. Another reason to visit Hako is its close proximity to many amazing natural attractions and national parks. Some of the best day trips from Hako are Menwantonu National Park, which is a one and a half hour drive, Karara National Park, which is a 25 minute drive, and Najaka Waterfalls, which is a two hour drive. Like a typical beach in the central Pacific coast of Costa Rica, Hako Beach has dark sand with some rocky areas and dark blue waters. You can't snorkel off the shore of Hako Beach and you need to be careful if you swim due to riptides. However, since the beach is four kilometers or 2.5 miles long, a walk on the beach during sunset is a must do in Hako. You can also visit many other beaches from Hako. Just south of Hako is Playa Hermosa, which is considered to be the national stadium of surfing, as this beach has some of the biggest and best waves for pro surfers, and many international and national surf competitions are held at Playa Hermosa. North of Hako is Playa Eredura, which is home to the famous Los Sueños Marina and Resort. You can also visit many of the local beaches in the area, such as Pejuco, Esterillos, and Agujas. The best time to visit Hako would be during the dry season, which is typically December through April. This is Costa Rica's summer, so you'll have fantastic weather and clear skies all day. However, you can also visit Hako in the rainy season, which is May through November, and you will still have a great time. The rainy season is actually usually a little less crowded and a little cheaper, but you just need to be a bit more prepared for rain.
You can visit Hako with or without a car. If you visit without a car, book a hotel that's in town or close to the action so that you're in walking distance. Then for any excursions or day trips, there are tour operators that include round trip transportation from Hako. If you have a car, you will be able to explore much more of the area. Either way, you will have a fantastic time in Hako, whether you're there for a night or two, for a week or for more. Visitors love that there's always something going on in Hako and that it has a strong local scene so that you can experience the best of what Hako is known for. We hope you guys enjoyed our video about Hako and that it was helpful for your trip planning. Thank you guys for watching and feel free to subscribe to our channel to see more videos about Costa Rica.